What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Pills, a.k.a. Pillsbury Doughboy. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to show y'all a little tutorial on how to use the plug-in tape stop, you know what I'm saying, in Cubase 5. This, broke, this works for all Cubase programs. You know, I, I've watched plenty of videos on YouTube trying to find out how to use this effect or something similar, and they were all too motherfucking confusing. And I was like, what the hell? No, but yeah, this video shows you real simple, real simple things to do to get the effect that you're looking for. All right, so yeah, let's get right to it. All right, first, of course, you listen to your beat. You got to find a section where you want the drop to apply. Here, you can see, right here, this is where I want mine to apply. All right, let's listen to it real quick, see how it sounds. You know, just it's, it's a small section, you know what I'm saying, but I wanted to drop, I wanted to kind of, Either slow down or completely stop, whichever one I which one I think is the best. But yeah, let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you how to do this. All right, first, find your clip that you want the drop to occur. Click on it. All right, and then you go to the top of the screen where it says File Edit Project. You want to hit Audio. Click that. All right, scroll down to Plugins. You know, find Tape Stop. The BST Tape Stop. Mine's right here. Bam, click on that. Now, when you open up Tape Stop, this is the first thing you want to do. You want to click Setup right here. All right, make sure your process mode is offline and speed fade is on. All right, usually it will show like this. Usually process mode will be, say, real time and speed fade will be off. You want to make process mode offline, speed fade on. All right, then click Setup again to get back to this screen. All right, now the green and the red lines. These two are very important because this basically controls how fast or how slow the effect is. You know, and I'll show I'll give you an example pretty soon. Soon. Alright. So basically the closer the green line is here to the red line, the slower the effect is. The further away the green is from the red line, the faster the effect is. And I'm gonna give you a perfect example. I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here. I backed it up pretty far away from the red line. I'm going to go ahead and click Process. All right. Hit New Version. And you see it kind of, it took, it basically just took away a lot of the a lot of the clip, you know. That's because it's going to drop real fast. Watch. I'm going to show you like this. This is how it's going to sound. Like that. Gives it that effect like basically somebody just stopped the turntable, you know what I'm saying? Just you know, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and control, undo that because I don't think I want it like that. Now, I'm going to go back to audio, plugins, tape stop. And I'm going to bring the line closer to the red one. I think I'm going to bring it about right. Oh, I, say I'm gonna put it about, I think I'm going to put it like right there, like real close. I want it to drop so super slow, you know. See, I'm going to hit process, new version, and it basically didn't even change, look like, but let's go ahead and give it a listen. You hear that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I don't really like that either, so I'm going to go ahead and change one more time. Audio, plug-ins, tape stop, click on the green line, move back some. All right, there. Process, new version. All right, let's give it one more listen. You know, you just play with it, you know what I'm saying, to get what you want. That's all you got to do. Yeah. All right, there we go. Perfect. That's exactly how I want it. You know, real simple VST to use in Cubase, you know. And it works, period. It works. It sounds good, too. You know what I mean? So, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. Comment on the video, you know what I'm saying? Hey, if you're looking for beats, get at me, J Pills, aka Pillsbury Doughboy, you already know what I'm saying. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to get up out this thing, man, so I'll holler at y'all later.